welcome to the Jeremy Hill Show. This is a men's channel with men content. If that is something that you enjoy watching, do me a favor, hit the like button and subscribe. Now let's get into it, gentlemen. Okay, let me say this. Women have said for years that there is a shortage of good black men and they use these as the reasons for why they say that. They say that a certain amount of men are on the DL down low or that they are in jail in prison. Let's attack that one. There are a lot of black women who are doing felonies, who sell drugs, that shoot at people, even murder people. There are a lot of black women who are doing prostitution or even pimping out other women, but we seldom hear about this. There were drug lords that was women that were doing it better than the men. One in particular was called Thelma Wright. Another one was called Perrion Roberts. And a woman that's on Trap Queens known as Jamelia, Jamelia Davis was known for fraud, doing long prison time, long prison terms. But we don't never shine light on that. It's always the man who is so bad. That's always a dog. So I got some numbers for you just to show you how often women are catching cases. There's a shortage of good women that are marriageable. It's not just the men that's not marriageable, it's the majority of the women too. And I got numbers to prove it. Let me tell you my source first. My source is the National Black Women's Justice Institute. It says extreme sentences disproportionately impact harm black women. Now let's get into it. It says, Incarcerated women and girls examine female incarceration trends and finds areas of both concern and hope. While the imprisonment rate of African-American women was nearly twice that of white women in 2020, this disparity represents a sharp decline from 2000. It says that black women are six times as likely to be imprisoned. Think about that for a second. And why is that? Because a lot of black women don't have morals anymore. It's all about the bag. If they can't get a sucker to give them the bag, then they're going to do something illegal now to get the bag. Even if it means selling dope, even if it means selling their bodies. And I'm going to put this to sleep too. Not every person that sells drugs is doing it for survival reasons. Some of these people are doing it just for a different lifestyle. Period. It ain't, a lot of people that sell drugs, especially women, they ain't doing to feed their kids. They just too lazy to go get another job or, or to get a higher education that pay more money. So I got something else to read to you. More than 6,600 women, one of every 15 women in prison are serving a life sentence without parole. Virtual life sentences of 50 years or more and 52 women are currently on death row according to the new report from the Alice Project. Many of these women are black in Georgia, Louisiana, and Mississippi. Now listen to this. Black women represent more than 50% of women serving life sentences in California. One out of every four women serving a life sentence is black. What's that you say, ladies? Um, I thought you said it was mostly the black men in jail. This is the reason why it's hard to find a good man. You are not marriageable women. Check this out. More than 26% of people arrested are black. More than double our share of the total general population. And although there is much data and research about this, most of it focuses on experiences of black men. Now I want you to hear this part very carefully. But given that in the recent decades, the incarceration rates of black women have doubled the pace of black men. That means more black women are going to jail, more black women are getting arrested, more black women are going to federal prison than black men. More black women are doing that. So stop saying one of the main reasons why you can't find a good man is because some of them are locked up. Do the stats, do the statistics and look for yourself. A lot of you women are not angels. You out there selling, yeah, yo, you out there selling your body. You out there doing brothels and all this other stuff. You're doing all this illegal activity, credit card scams. You doing, you robbing people, doing fraud. And then you don't want to take accountability for that, but you want the black man or any other man of any other race to look like dogs and look like criminals. Now read, now check this out. Let's see if I got anything else. Yeah, right here. 
Black women account for roughly 13% of the general population, yet account for 29, 29% of incarcerated women. Between 2008 and 2020, there was a 2% increase in the number of women in prison for a violent crime. Women are still cutting men. Women are still poisoning their food. Women are still slashing tires, tearing up people's cars and stuff because they mad, putting sugar in their gas tanks, shooting other women that they suspect are sleeping with their men. Violent crime. Black women, and this is all about black women, not anybody else in there. Black women is doing this because they have no sense. They have no sensibility. Now, let me, go, let me continue on. Now, there's also a 20% increase in the number of women serving a life sentence and a 43% increase in women serving life without parole. Black women account for one third of women serving life sentences and virtual life sentences in the US. So check this out. One of every 39 black women in prison is serving life without parole compared to one of every 59 imprisoned white women. As of 2020, black women account for 25% of the women on death row. Murderers, majority of people who get on death row are murderers. Women are offing other, they are killing other women, they are killing men, they are doing all these heinous, horrible things. That's what these women are doing. But they don't want to take accountability for that. The black girl rock movement, the black girl magic, whatever, you ain't saying nothing about this. It's all about how bad black men are. So let me ask you this, what about women who are pregnant? What about women who are knocked up I got numbers for this too, and I'm going to explain it to you. It says approximately 12,000 pregnant women or precisely 6% of incarcerated women are incarcerated each year. About 12,000 black American women who are pregnant are behind bars. And I don't want to hear because their boyfriend was drug dealing, they got caught up and didn't understand what was going on. That's, that's the problem. You don't want to take responsibility for your own actions. You didn't have to do any of that crime. You didn't have to go hide the cocaine. A lot of these black women are missing their children first tooth, missing when the first tooth fell out, missing graduation. Just like they say black men miss. My daddy, my black man wasn't, my daddy wasn't in my life. I'm so bitter, he wasn't there to help me ride a bike. A lot of, according to the numbers I just gave you and I cited my source to you in the beginning of the video, a lot of women are doing the same thing to their own damn children. How come we're not talking about that? How come we're not talking about how piss poor they are at parenting? Why it's always gotta be the man. Men are better parents than the mother in a way because we're more logical and practical. We don't just go by emotions. And that would get a lot of women caught up is their emotions. Because once they got their emotions going, they don't see nothing else about what they feel. They're toxic because of their emotions. So there's a lot of children out there that don't have their mamas, and, but have their daddies or their grandmothers taking care of them. Their grandfather, their grandmother, or their fathers are taking care of these children that these criminal-minded women have been so irresponsible that they can't take care of them. So let's talk about that. Let's speak about it. I know a lot of you ain't gonna like to hear what I'm saying, but I don't really care. Women are just as bad or worse as the men that they complain about. Now, you can look these facts up yourself. It doesn't change the fact that the moral behavior of black women has depreciated. Thank you, gentlemen. If you see anything in this video that you like or you already know to be true, do me a favor, hit the like button and subscribe. But there's a lot of women out here doing the same thing. They're selling drugs like men. They're selling their bodies. They're involving prostitution like men can be. They are even pimping other women like, like men do. They're doing all these things, but we never talk about that. We always put it on the man that has to stop.